Boom, welcome back to another video here by Daddy Scarpa. Today we are here to claim all three objective cards. Now I don't really want to attempt to even use their names. <laughs> so um, if you're enjoying the content, if you could like, subscribe, turn on the notification channel, it would be much appreciated. So we're going to start with Guy very simple 93 rated this has probably got to be one of the best objective cards out there so very easy score a goal in two separate rival matches using Senegalese players it's very easy again put them up front get the goal you don't have to win the best part about these objectives is you don't have to win the game only one two or three of them I think it's one in each one that you have to win. So again, you know, if you've got Mane, you've got this guy, guy. If you've got Koulibaly or any other player out there that is Senegalese, just put him up front, score, and then uh, don't matter about the the rest. So that's easy. Assist with a through ball in three separate rival matches using Premier League players with a maximum of three star skill moves. Again, don't have to win. So just get a few Premier League players that have got three star skill moves maximum, and through ball it end of story it's very very simple um, you have to do it in three separate matches so it's it's nice you know so assist 10 goals in rivals using midfielders with maximum three star weak foot so again if you've got Premier League three star three star you can do two of them together you know mix them all in together I did I used Angel Di Maria he did about four or five challenges so this was one of them that Di Maria did because he's a midfielder. So again, you don't have to win. It can be done in one match, you know, if, if somebody lets you score 10 goals. Um, and this one is the one I did with Angel Di Maria again. So score and assist in six separate rival wins using Liga 1 midfielder. So again, I did it with Angel Di Maria. Um, I think he's probably the best because you do about four or five objectives with him um, in my opinion but here we go this is a monster card for not a free card it includes your time your effort to play sweaty people on rivals I understand but technically a free card or an objective card it is an absolute beast so three star three star medium high so he's a very defensive player as you can see by the base stats He's five foot nine, but when it comes to pace, he's very good at his pace. He's shooting, you know, is irrelevant really, unless you want to play him as a cam, but I recommend you don't. You know, positioning's nice. Shot power is absolutely immense. Long shots is very, very nice. He's passing, short passing and long passing are top, top tier. He's dribbling, everything is top tier, apart from dribbling eight to nine. It's good. It's absolutely amazing. You know, dribbling is one off top tier. His defending, apart from his heading accuracy, is top, top tier. And again, his physical, apart from his strength, is all 99 rated. You know, 81 strength, but 99 the rest. That is an amazing card. Long shot taker. I don't know why he's only got that trait, to be honest with you. Um, but we'll have to see what happens. Uh, but I recommend doing this card. He won't get into my team, but it is definitely worth you guys out there getting this card 100%. Right, next card is Govelin from Monaco. So, this one is all squad battles slash rivals. So, assist in four separate squad battle matches on professional or rivals using League of Russia players. I ended up doing this on squad battles just because rivals was too sweaty. I mean, I was in Division 4, um, relegating myself to Division 5 and did this one, um, did these objectives. It's very, very hard. Score five finesse goals in squad battles or rivals using Lee Liga one players. So that's why I used Daniel Di Maria. So he's already done two. This is the third one that you can do with uh, Di Maria or any other midfielder um, from the French league. The next one is assist two and score two using midfielders with four star weak foot. Now, obviously, if you can get somebody that has four star weak foot. Um, and four star skill moves from the French league and he's a midfielder that would be better because you can link them all together but I ended up using my midfielders like um, Bruno Fernandes, Bellarabi uh, them kind of players did that for me 
and then score in six separate squad battles on professional or rivals using Liga 1 midfielders with minimum four-star skill moves. Again, Angel Di Maria, just score with him or score with any other midfielder and you can get that one done. Right, now this card on the base looks very nice. You know, you don't have to have these. You can't, you got to look at it and be like, wow, they're bringing out a objective player, but I'll never have him in my squad. But I tell my nephew the same thing. Do it straight into an SBC. You know, instead of just playing rivals to get your foot champs points, do objectives. Get an 89 rated player or a 90 something rated player. Straight away be like, he's never going to get in my team ever. I'm going to put him in an SBC. It brings the SPC price so far down. It's unbelievable. Right. Four star, four star, high, high. For a midfielder, is very nice. Um, his pace is brilliant, 91 pace. You know, his shooting, apart from his penalties, which is irrelevant, is almost top tier. His passing, apart from his crossing, is top, top tier. His dribbling, his balance and reactions are a little bit low, uh, but the rest is very nice. You know, heading accuracy, um, apart from that, defending's all right. Stamina's brilliant. Aggression is brilliant. That's a nice card, you know, long shot taker and technical dribbler. It's a nice card, you know, for squad battles. You don't have to do them on rivals. For a squad battle card, that is very, very nice to do. And the last but not least, I'm not even going to mention the name, but this guy from wherever he's from. <laughs> So, we'll start with this one. Assist in two separate squad battle matches on professional or rivals using players with minimum 90 pace. Very simple. If you've got a 90 pace player, put them up front. Very simple. Get an assist. Get them to take um, corners. Get them to take free kicks and pass it and do it that way. It's, uh, this one just happened naturally. I didn't even realise I was going for it. It just happened. The next one is assist and score in four separate squad battle matches on professional or rivals using Chilean players. Now, you can link this one. I'm going to quickly just go for it. You can link this one and this one together. Score in five separate squad battles on professional or rivals using commodable players. So they're all the black cards. You know, the Sudamericana, the Libertadores, um, them cards. F buy one if you don't have one, which is a Chilean. So you can do two objectives in one. And again, do it on squad battles. You don't want to do it on rivals against sweaty players, people that dab and shush and they watch every replay. Do it on squad battles. You know, it might be a bit hard. You might be like, oh, that's pretty hard. But it's, you know, then do it on squad battles. It's so easy. That's why they make this like this. And the last one is score 10 goals in squad battles or rivals using players with minimum four star weak foot and four star skill moves very simple it just happens naturally once you score goals so now this card looks and makes something must be wrong with it for it to be an objective card so four star four star high high for a winger is a little bit mm, but it's it's good it's good so 98 pace is absolutely phenomenal you know apart from his finishing Obviously, volleys, I prefer volleys. Um, it's a little bit low, but apart from that, the rest is very top tier. You know, his passing, his free kick accuracy and his curve are quite low, but the rest is brilliant. His dribbling, apart from his composure, is, um, is top, top tier. Defending is irrelevant, and his stamina is amazing. His jumping, his strength and aggression are a little bit low. With leadership, speed dribbler, and outside of the foot shot. Now, this card is very nice. If you really wanted to, I'm sorry I didn't do this with the other ones, but if you wanted to, a sniper, dead eye, very nice. Does his shooting and passing, shooting and dribbling. Um, if you wanted to max out, the, like get composure up, that is top, top tier. For again, technically a free card, apart from your time, your effort and stuff like that, um, that is definitely worth doing, guys. So, we have 12 packs to open up. I've got 14. But the Mega Pack and the Rare Electron Players Pack I'm keeping because it's from the SBCs where you can get a 100k pack, a 50k pack and stuff like that. So I want to keep them for tomorrow's Rivals video. Um, so yeah, but no, we move. Let's go. And of course EA straight away say, yeah, oh, Cam Center 4 is nice considering it's untradeable. It's not very nice, but... Hopefully you're all safe during quarantine. 
you know, Boris Johnson is starting to slowly, slowly uplift things so we can move slowly uh, back to normal. Um, don't know how long that's going to be, but it's going to take time. Right, so nothing good there. Come on, yeah, I just want one. Give me one. Here we go. Nothing again. Don't expect anything. You know me, guys. I'm not red listed like uh, the other YouTubers. I'm just the uh, opening so many packs and can't get nothing good. <laughs> you know, there's Neymar, there's Mbappe, Ben Yedda. But tomorrow, guys, there'll be a video out for my rivals' rewards and guaranteed League One and the guaranteed MLS or the oh with this. Oh, I thought that was something then. Yeah, guaranteed packs, both of them tomorrow. I'll get both of them done tonight. Get that ready for tomorrow. I'll get this SBC packs ready. And then we move. Got gold too. Uh, I'll talk about it more in the next video. But it was again very, very sweaty. Wasn't a good weekend league again. And I'm sure it's only going to get worse. Because apparently next week is going to be the ultimate team of the season so far so if that is the case then you're going to have everybody and there's going to be Neymars and Ben Yedders and, and Mbappes in the squad as well so it's going to be even even sweatier which again is no good but we move we move getting the content out for you guys and these packs are absolutely dreadful and they're untradeable so it makes it even worse um there we go. Let's just quickly swap him. No, perfect. Discarding players left, right, and center. Right. Come on, EA. Give me just one, please. <laughs> oh, I told you I need a new account for FIFA 21. 100%. Can't keep this account. It's too. They're just like, oh, yeah, we don't care about you. So, just get that out of the way. Right, keep them two packs. Right, we're down to our last three packs. Come on, EA. Oh, come on. Just one. One team of the season. Brazil left wing or French striker. <laughs> we'll do very nicely, please, EA. Right. Two packs left. Come on. Here we go. And again, brilliant, EA. We know you love it. You know there's somebody there watching right now laughing. Saying, ha ha. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Right, this is going to be the last pack, guys. From the three objective cards. And of course, it's another silver rare. Oh, we love to see it. But that's it, guys. It's unfortunate they're all tradable. But like I said, there'll be another video out tomorrow. With hopefully better packs. I doubt it, knowing EA, but what can we do? But anyway, if you could like, subscribe, turn on the notification channel, it would be much appreciated. Thank you all so much. Good night and God bless. Bye-bye.